Hello, and I'm about to show you my rig here. Uh, here's all my pedals, and I'll show you the amp and the guitar at the end. So, um, starting off, I have a CAE Wah. Um, this thing's very cool. It has two inductors in it. Uh, normally, a Wah just has one inductor. So, on the back side, I can hit a toggle. I can go from the yellow or the red inductor and the yellow one sounds a little more funky like the red one sounds a little deeper I've gone through several laws and that's a good one right there. Next is the uh, Digitech Whammy 2. Uh, these are sought after. Uh, do a lot of pitch shifting and other fun things I like to do is uh, use it as a bass when I'm doing a loop. So. Instant bass, so we'll just have fun doing like. octaves on like this. I'm just playing one note, uh, but I'm getting octaves. It's got the bass in it, or you go the other way, throw in a high one. Definitely fun. Um, here's a 19, early 80s tube screamer. It's very beat up. Got it from a buddy. I'm, I love tube screamers. I have a couple of them. This is a newer pedal from Earthquake, Earthquaker Devices. Uh, it's plumes. It's got, it's kind of like a tube screamer, but it's got three different settings for the diode clipping, so you can pick different clipping. Um, I have mine kind of set more like a tube screamer, but it's got a little more high end and crunch on it, so it'll cut through the mix a little bit more, but it's not as warm sounding, but sometimes it just. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here is my flashback X4 times 4. I've got a bunch of delays on here. So I have like three preset, uh, I got three preset going on here. Uh, this one's just like a dynamic delay that I have it on, which is cool. So you could be like playing and it, it stays out of the way until you're done playing a note. So you could be like. It really it waits until you're done playing to kind of do the delays which I like because it gets out of the way while you're playing yep. cool. and then I have like a real ambient one set up too that one just like on infinite repeat basically and then it certainly can be used as a looper you ch change this up so you just do uh you know control the uh, the ratio and the attack and the level I like I like being able to see the uh, level coming through at some point so it's a good place for it and if you stack these uh, overdrives um, then you're not getting a crazy loud uh, boost it's, it's kind of keeping those in check so I can have both of these on so yeah that, that's nice to have this is my baby tooth which I helped engineer my, with my buddy it's like a fuzz. 
You can starve the transistor so it sounds like this. Here it kind of just like fizzles out. It's really a weird, but it can be real tasty too if you take that Velcro sound off, off of there. Uh, purple, purple Haze, it was called Purple Haze, then they just called it Haze due to a copyright infringement, but this is from uh, Wilson Effects. And it's good to see that good univibe sound. So sometimes I'll do like this on stage. It's messing with the rate there. Also, it has a like a vibrato channel. This was just a, a real cheap pedal, uh, fish and chips, uh, to e, you know, EQ, but I, I put a hump in there, mid hump around 800 hertz. So when I solo and I want an extra boost and I want to do some more feedback, um, I kick that on. So I might already have my tube screen on and then I'll do a solo, turn on the looper. chopper it's a gig fx chopper i don't normally have this in the mix but um, it's just another cool effect where it's got tremolos and stuff but it's that, that chop sound so that can just be kind of fun with like let's go back to doing some delay and make some weird sounds buddy Byron Faye made this amp it's awesome it's got some uh, slanted cabs he made all the wood cabinets and everything um, all the guts are in there hand hand point to point it's just absolutely an awesome amp and uh, check that out just the natural gain on it if I turn this gain like this needing any pedals um, just take a look at the back side of it real quick oops if I don't crash into something while holding my guitar all right I think you saw the back of this before but um, got the uh, big KT66 tubes in there um, it'll take any tubes it's a very special type of amp where you can put any kind of tubes you want in there and get whatever sound you want I've got a nice Celestian um, blue speaker down in there that's my favorite that one breaks up real good there's a cleaner green back in there too and then uh let me show you my guitar here all right okay uh this is my guitar it's a handmade one off i got it second hand um it's called uh, andrew olson he made it um, but it's just a very beautiful piece um, i've got the back off of it the thing only weighs four pounds um, it's got like all these radiuses everywhere, but I absolutely love it. So that's pretty much the lowdown on the rig. I hope you enjoyed all of this stuff I showed you. Talk to you later. Bye.